Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and today I'm here with a sneak peek unboxing from Diamond Art Club. This is actually one of their new releases this weekend. Thanks to Diamond Art Club for sending this over for me to share with you all. Hopefully this is going to help you make a decision about if this is going to be on your shopping list for the weekend. And the kit I have for you this week is Witches Flower Shop by Mrs. Buttered or Mrs. Buttered D. Another really cute and adorable piece from this artist. And this is, oh my gosh, just too cute. I'm a real sucker for her color palettes and the way the Diamond Art Club renders her kit. So I'm all about this. This one's actually gonna have round diamonds and is 20 by 28 inches or 50.7 by 70.6 centimeters. Definitely a size point that I really enjoy as well. By the way, this kit along with the other new releases are gonna be coming out tomorrow, which is um, Saturday, February 24th. The release time is 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 p.m. Eastern for the general release. If you are in the Diamond or Ruby tier of the rewards program, you do get a half an hour early access window and you can actually just log into your account on the Diamond Art Club website. And uh, if you go to the new arrivals tab at that, you know, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern, uh, these new arrivals, including this one, should show up for you during that early release window as long as you're logged in. You should also get like an email and maybe a text. Anyway, so let's get into this. Um, we've got some pink branding up here, which you'll see with Diamond Art Club's round drill kits. On the back, there is some information about how to diamond paint. There'll be more instructions inside as well. Here's your kit contents written out for you. And then you have a discount code here that you can scan that, well, QR code. You can scan for a discount code with 10% off and um, if you are brand new to diamond art club and are thinking of making your very first purchase whether it's this kit or you know not new releases necessarily i do have a 20 percent off discount code you're welcome to use that is just my name katie k-a-t-i-e and the number 20. Um, you can also use i have an affiliate link that's just diamondartclub.com katie and um that will save you 20 percent off your first purchase and if you do choose to use either of those the code or the link though i may make a small commission which always goes right back into my channel but of course i want to be completely transparent with you about that. Don't feel any pressure. You're gonna see some other discount codes just in this video. There's some other discount codes floating around out there. I just would gently suggest you use some sort of discount code and don't pay full price for your purchase. Okay, so um, there is a toolkit here that's gonna have everything you need to do your diamond painting. Those are your uh, t toolkit contents there. And I have actually done some diamond paintings just using the tools that came in the toolkit. Diamond art clubs are actually pretty, pretty nice and comprehensive, I feel like. Uh, so we are going to have a pen and squishy. The color on these will vary. You're also going to get a couple of thin plastic multi-placers, a four and a seven placer. You can pop these in the end of your pen to, if you want to try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time. Whoops. You're also gonna get some wax. There's a couple of little plates of pink heart wax in here. You just wanna make sure you peel back that thin plastic film before you try to load up your pen and they come in this little caddy. We've also got a tray and this is a tray stopper that you can pop in and out to help keep the diamonds in there. And we've got a bag of baggies. You can store your leftover diamonds in if you like. And then we have a roll of washi tape. The print on this will vary. And I do have a video dedicated to how, where, when, why, the ways that I use washi tape when it comes to diamond painting. It's a little handy tool, actually. And then we have a cover minder. The style of this is gonna vary, and there are magnets on the back you can use to help with holding back the plastic cover while you're diamond painting. So that is your toolkit. Um, if you happen to have ordered from Diamond Art Club before and gotten one of their square drill kits, um, you might notice a very small difference. If you get a kit that has square diamonds from Diamond Art Club, it will also come with a pair of tweezers, but they do not include those with their round drill kits. You're gonna get a small sticker here. It has the original artwork, the title, and some of the stats. I use this in my paper logbook once I start working on a kit. I just, I think it's really handy for that. And some people will use it though to put on the side of the box to help organize their stash, or you can find something else crafty to do with it if you like. Everything else is gonna be included here in this bag or plastic dust cover. We have that super soft backing on Diamond Art Club's canvases. And oh my gosh, how cute is that right out the gate? <laughs> oh my gosh, and all like the pretty muted pastels. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I love, love, love this color style and this whole vibe. Okay, so if we take a look here from top to bottom, look at this little bird, oh my gosh, so cute. Lots of florals, 
watering can. Ooh, she's doing some magic with this flower here, of course, because this is the witch's flower shop. And I love it. Even like the reflection off of this witch's glasses is really cute. And I love her pink hair. So fine. And we have some more magic sparkles over here. And like, looks pretty framed pictures in the back. Nice hanging plant. There's a lot of just beautiful elements on this canvas. I love it. Oh my gosh. Uh, I admittedly, I am, I really, really enjoy Mrs. Butter's artwork. I've done one or two, one or two of her kits so far. I own, I think all of them. They just, they turn out so well. Um, they're incredibly popular and it's honestly, it really is for a good reason in my opinion. Okay, let me show you what else is included. So you're gonna get a pamphlet here. There's a thank you note there on the front. Uh, here's what's included in your kit again. Here's a QR code for a beginner video. I also have one that will be linked below. This QR code will, will take you to the VIP Facebook group once you've made your first purchase. That is a handy resource. We have some step-by-step -step instructions written out for you and some tips and tricks. Here's yet another discount code. And then if you download the mobile app, you actually get 20% off your first app purchase as well. So lots of ways that you can take advantage, save some money. <laughs> and then uh, we do have a larger sticker sheet here. It has the title and the artist same at the top as well as a spot to write your start and end date. Here is a bigger look at this original artwork, a little clearer look as well. And I always like to look and go, okay, compare the original artwork to the render. It looks really good, you guys. Uh, we do have the stats down here at the bottom again. And then over here on the right hand side, we have a set of pre-cut sticker labels. I actually, I really like that they include these. You can just peel them off and put them on your storage container of choice or bag of choice. Um, it just makes the kitting up process go really quickly. Um, the right hand column, this has the, this is the DMC color code system. Most diamond painting companies use this color code system. With Diamond Art Club though, there's a couple of exceptions. So first, Diamond Art Club's numbering system, anything under the number 150 is gonna be a special kind of diamond called an AB. We're gonna have four of those in this kit. And if you look at the end of the color list, sometimes you will see some colors that have a letter at the beginning. In this case, we have three that have the letter Z in at the beginning of them. Those are gonna be three different fairy dust colors. Um, so I'm gonna tell you more about those special diamonds when we're looking at the diamonds later. Just a quick note though, some people, um, especially if you're not familiar with cross stitch and the DMC color code system, <laughs> they get confused and I see, what is ecru? Is, why isn't that a number? That is just, I believe that's just the, the name that they give for undyed floss in the cross stitch world. <laughs> and so this is kind of just an off-white color and that is the, the code that is given to that particular color. So that's not an error, that just, that is what the code is for that color. <laughs> so uh, it's not a special drill type. It's just a, it's just a regular diamond color. Okay, let me take you on a little tour of the canvas now. So we do have their branding at the top, Do It Makes You Sparkle, Diamond Art Club. The edges of the canvas are scalloped and finished. You shouldn't have to worry about any fraying. And the back on the canvas, like I mentioned earlier, it's really, really soft and it's plush almost to the touch. The material of the canvas itself, it's really, it's sturdy and malleable. It lays flat really nicely and holds diamonds really well. They do use poured glue on their canvases, which most companies that use this clear plastic cover, it's gonna be poured glue. It's very sticky. And then the plastic cover has a feature that is relatively newly rolled out. Let me try to get, when I catch the light, you can see it better. Okay, <laughs> if you see the lines on there, come on, where we go? There we go. Uh, there is now um, a set of perforations in their plastic covers on a lot of their new releases that they're rolling out. And these are about four by four inches or 10 by 10 centimeters in size. And um, it's kind of just like pre-sectioned off areas for your canvas. Uh, if you want, you can completely ignore it and continue working on your canvas however you have been up to this point. But if you like the idea of being able to just rip off a section really cleanly that's you know pre-cut for you at a time, it's pretty easy. You can grab it where the perforation is, just give it a tug and it will split along that perforation. I think that they're still kind of workshopping some up updates to the features with that, but for the moment, this is, the, this is what this particular kit came with. We're gonna have a color list, schematic, legend, whatever you'd like to call it, at the top left, as well as over here at the bottom right. And then at the bottom left, you'll have a thumbnail of the original artwork as well as the title, the size, and copyright. So this is really important because Diamond Art Club does legally license all of their artwork from the artist. This means that in this case, 
Mrs. Buttered has given permission for the use of her artwork by Diamond Art Club and is being compensated for it as well. All of Diamond Art Club's kits are legally licensed from the artist. So uh, here are their socials and another discount code and a little bit about their lifetime warranty. As long as you're the original owner and purchaser of your kit, you are covered under that lifetime warranty and that includes if you happen to run out of any diamonds, have any trouble with the glue or the canvas, just contact customer support and uh, they can take it from there. There's that cute bird. The printing on the canvas is really clear. They did, um, they did a little while back now make a bit of an update to their round drill canvases where before they used to have more distinct guide circles and white backgrounds behind all the symbols. However, now they've done away with that and the drill field almost looks like a square drill canvas does where it almost just looks like squares. That means that you don't have to be quite as painstakingly precise with your placement for fear of that, you know, white circle showing around even like, you know, a dark color or something like that. There are still really faint guide circles on here. You can kind of see here, they're very faint, but it's nice because you don't really have to worry about those showing around the diamonds, but you still get, you know, a little bit of help with, with placement if you like. This kit does have some color blocking. If you look in the witch's hat here, color blocking is where we have um, big sections, kind of like blocks of color like this, where you can use a multi-placer you'll have that color in your tray for a while those tend to go a bit faster and this kit does still though have some areas of what we call confetti i'm gonna hop back down here to show you this is a good example confetti is where you have more color changes in a small area kind of like sprinkled throughout not as many of um you know a single color in a row and so you'll be doing more single placing or maybe just placing two or three diamonds at a time and maybe changing out the color in your tray a bit more often even up here this is a little bit of confetti even but this has a nice mix of both and that is actually how i prefer it <laughs> i feel like um, confetti keeps it interesting but color blocking keeps it moving and confetti gives you that like nice level of detail and color blending but color blocking just gives it a little bit of that like clean and crisp render to it that kind of look to it diamond art club does hand chart their canvases i'm just measuring for posterity here we're almost 71 centimeters that way um but yeah you'll notice that their rendering style is pretty pretty crisp and clean um it just has ha definitely had a human eye on it which you know rendering styles and preferences are really subjective but i love how diamond art club handles a lot of their artists work so this is true to size by the way um that's what i was just measuring for which that's usually the case with diamond art club's kits we're going to take a look at the diamonds now. There is a sticker on the package here that tells you what canvas these go with, just in case you store these separate from the canvas and outside of the box they came in. Isn't this just a warm and cozy color palette? I am in love with the muted pastels, like kind of the earthy pastels. Those are gorgeous. Oh, I love it. You hear me talk about that a lot on my channel, muted tones. That's just, I'm a sucker for it. <laughs> um, okay, so the diamonds here, they're in these heat sealed bags. The DMC code is printed on the bags. Um, and man, my lighting is a bit warm. I'm gonna try to fix that in post because this in right now in camera looks very yellow, but in person is more of like a light peachy beige. So I'll try to fix that. <clears throat> I'm gonna get you guys as accurate a look at these colors as possible. Uh, it doesn't, my lighting doesn't usually mess with the colors that poorly, but um, anyway, so yeah, the DMC code is printed on these bags. These are in order of weight as opposed to like DMC order, just so you know. Diamond Art Club's drills are all made in house, they're resin, and um, their round diamonds are very twinkly is really what I would call the effect of them. They're very sparkly, very twinkly. And um, they're really nice quality, I feel like. Oh, here we go. Oh, back to back to back. Oh my gosh. Okay, so three in a row. We have three of our special drill colors. Let me cover them individually. So here we have our first fairy dust color. I'm going to zoom you in. So you can really see this is Z743 and there is just that light glitter coating brushed on the tops of these diamonds it gives them a really subtle shimmery glittery effect 
It's honestly my favorite kind of special diamond the Diamond Art Club has. So here's one of them. Next to it is our first AB Diamond 129. Now AB stands for Aurora Borealis and these are named after the Northern Lights. They have a really shiny and iridescent coating on the top that you can see is reflecting a variety of colors here. It's very sparkly, extra sparkly, and is really gonna draw your eye to the areas it's been charted. And here's another fairy dust color, and especially if you see them side by side, you can see how they really are quite different from one another, but they both have really distinct and nice effects. And Diamond Art Club, I think, does a really nice job of charting these in ways that really suits the artwork and suits the special drill type as well. So this is Z3855. So these special, these two fairy dust colors are similar, but, uh, distinct, uh, you know, still. And then here is our, I can see me back out here. <clears throat> Here's our second AB 135. It's kind of a pale chartreuse color. All those special drills right there. <laughs> uh, and yes, I will certainly go through the canvas with you and point out where these special drills are going to be found. But first let's get through, let's get through all the colors first. I want to keep those handy so I can pull back out those fairy dust colors and more easily tell the difference between them on the canvas. Here's our third fairy dust color, Z3708. And this, I love this fairy dust color. It's pink, it's like a bubblegum pink, and we have a nice big bag of it. I'm gonna guess that it's gonna be in some of the flowers. Maybe in her hat or hair, but I'm gonna guess in the flowers for this one. And some more earthy tones here. In this last strand, we should have one more AB. And we do, 141. This is a white AB. Um, this is just really a staple of Diamond Art Club, honestly. You will see this white AB in a lot of their kits. It's a good one, you guys. <laughs> Especially with that really rainbowy coating on it. And then lots of colors here. We just have small amounts of, how many colors? 64, that's a, that's a good amount of colors. That's a lot of colors in this kit. Oh. I was mistaken. We have four ABs in this kit, not three. My mistake. Here is our, um, is our last AB. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. So this is our last AB. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Uh, 124. We have a pink AB as well. So, but that'll be in the flowers too. I had to guess, but we'll look. Sorry about that, you guys. Four ABs, three fairy dust. And then here is Ecru. And you can see it's not a special drill. The red is just a straggler that hopped over from the strand. Uh, yeah, it's just kind of the color of undyed floss. Thread. There's the last one, 817. Okay, let's take a look. We're gonna start at the bottom. We will find uh, as many of the special drills as we can. So um, right off the bat, let me make sure I am telling the difference properly between these two fairy dust colors. One's a little darker than the other. Okay, 743, this symbol is a little bit darker. That one's a little bit lighter. Okay, so the slightly darker um, kind of peachy yellow fairy dust color is this yellow outline in the bird and along its profile as well. Um, we have, oh no, I, had, I made a mistake, hold on a second. That is correct, but I thought I saw another one. <laughs> and then we do have the pink fairy dust. Ooh, lots of the pink fairy dust in these flowers. It's kind of doing this outlining. It's the light pink outline inside the dark outline. And then the um, this, there's a pale yellow AB, and that's the bright yellow you're seeing in this particular flower. And there's also that, um, that darker of the two pale yellow peach um, fairy dust colors is in this flower as well. Um, and then let's see, more of that same uh, yellow peach, it's this one. It's this fairy dust color. Yeah, it's yellow, it's more of a yellow tint to it. And this is more of an ivory. Okay, yes, yeah, so this is the more yellowy fairy dust color is in this flower too. And then over here, the light pink you see is a pink a B diamond and then just checking to make sure I don't miss anything here there's some more of the pink fairy dust in this flower and then the white sparkles you see that's white AB as well as up here in this crystal ball that's white AB the crystal ball also has a big bunch of the pink fairy dust and then the pink AB outlining on the top her necklace has some pale yellow AB in it and then the leaves, 
The leaves over on this plant are outlined in that chartreuse AB color. Then these flower petals, or these flowers have the pink fairy dust. There's more of the chartreuse AB here. And then this kind of highlighting color on this witch's sleeves, that is the ivory fairy dust color right there. There's pale yellow ABs right through here, and then the, ye the pale yellow fairy dust in here, as well as some of the pink fairy dust in this bouquet. That's really pretty. And then I am, I'm just double checking. Okay, over here we have some of the pale yellow AB in her hair, as well as right here, that's yellow AB. Um, the lens flare on her glasses is white ABs. That's really cute. And then in her eyes, the little sparkle in her eyes here, this is white AB. Then there's a little bit of pale yellow AB, kind of like her eyeshadow on her eyebrows. And then this flower on her hat is outlined in pink fairy dust. There's some pale yellow AB right here. And then this picture frame is the ivory fairy dust, as is this flower is ivory fairy dust. These, is this, oh yeah, these are flowers in this flower box. These flowers are the ivory fairy dust color. Um, there is some pale chartreuse AB outlining and highlighting on these leaves on her hat. And then the outline of the witch's hat over here, that one is in the ivory fairy dust color. And then we have some chartreuse ABs in these leaves and right here as well. And then there's a little bit of that ivory fairy dust right here. These flowers are white ABs and the centers have the pale yellow fairy dust. And then there's a little bit of pale yellow AB right here. Did I catch all of that ivory fairy dust? I think so. I was looking at the bag thinking, is there more in here than what, what my eye is picking out? But I, I, you know, it's possible I missed some, but I, nothing is jumping out at me. So I think that that is at least most of the special drills. I love it. I love that we have lots of those special drills in the flowers. I love that we have a little bit uh, to dry your eye to like where the sparkles are and even um, in their eyes. And I like the special drills that are like a little bit in her hair and even just giving a little bit of extra light to like where the highlights are. That's a lot of times where I enjoy seeing um, special drills place is just kind of where you match it, imagine the light glinting off of a little bit and Diamond Art Club just does a really nice job of charting their special drills out. So this looks so pretty you guys i think that this is gonna just be um it's not as like bright and vivid as some of mrs butter's other pieces that diamond art club has done however this color palette just looks so cozy it's very cottage core it's just the the whole vibe of it is really 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 cozy and i think that the colors and the special drills are really going to suit this artwork so well and i'm i i swear i'm not just saying this i genuinely just i love this this artist style and i i'm really looking forward to seeing how this comes together with how diamond art club does their renderings so let me give you a really quick recap this is called Witch's Flower Shop. It's by Mrs. Buttered and is 50.7 by 70.6 centimeters, 64 colors with four AB colors, three fairy dust colors, and round diamonds. This kit, along with the other new releases, are coming out tomorrow, which is Saturday, February 24th. 9.30 a.m. Pacific, 12.30 p.m. Eastern. And of course, if you're in the Diamond or Ruby tier of the rewards program, don't forget to set your alarms for that early release. And I wish you all the best of luck with shopping. If this is on your list, please let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are. Is this going to be one you're going to try to pick up tomorrow? Um, do, have you worked on a kit? Or do you have any in your stash from this artist already? Or is this going to be your first one? I am looking forward to hearing your thoughts below. Thank you so much for watching and feel free to subscribe if you want to see lots more diamond painting content from me. You'll see unboxings and reviews from a wide variety of diamond painting companies. Um, and I do weekly weapon chats and tutorials, all things diamond painting. I'd love, love, love to have you here. Once again, thanks for watching you guys. I hope you have a day and a week that's as amazing as you are. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.